Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanna share with you some more items I grabbed for the Christmas holiday season. I decorated this wreath um, for the inside of my house. I want to hang it um, in my double doors uh, in my dining room. And this is just a frosted wreath that I got from Walmart. And I did do a DIY video on how I decorated um, the whole thing. Um, I'll leave a link for that video below. But yeah, this is basically one of the items that I'm gonna use as part of my Christmas decor. So um, what I did is I added some silver ribbon, some royal blue ornaments, and some silver and white. And then a nice little ornament here that says uh, Merry Christmas. And this is just basically to complement the theme that I'm going for. I am gonna be doing a winter wonderland. So this is, basically what it looks like. So here I have another DIY that I did this past week. I did not do a video for this particular one, but I did do a video for the cylinder shaped um, vase. And the other one just had kind of stripes going around it. And this one is similar. I just covered more area on the bottom of this one. And then I did a, a thinner stripe up here. And then for the the mouth of the vase I did a strip of rhinestones and I filled the vase with little um, ornaments and silver and baby blue and I added some poinsettia leaves so yeah let me know if you guys want to see a DIY video on this one but this is basically just another one that I did just to put maybe in the middle of the table or on the um, in this little accent table here to go with the winter wonderland decor this decorative box I got from Home Goods for $5.99 and it's basically just a light gray and white striped box and it says a very Merry Christmas and it has the Velcro um, opening right here and basically I bought this um, basically for decor. I want to put it on top of my buffet table um, with some other ornaments over it and when the time comes I will be using this as a gift box. So I just thought that was a really cute idea to use this as part of your decor and then stuff a gift in here and gift it off to someone else. So every year we buy a family ornament that we hang on our tree. And this year we got this one from Walmart. And basically it is a key that says love is the key and then it says 2016. I don't know if you can see that. But we usually do ornaments that we put our family picture in, uh, but this year we're going to do the key because love is the key. I also picked up this set of cloth napkins from Home Goods, and this was $5.99 for a pack of four. Basically, they are a faint gray with silver sparkle on it, and I just thought these were really cute. So I bought these just to have extras uh, for when we're doing our holiday dinners. If we get any of our current ones dirty, we can always have some backup. So I thought these were really, really cute. So I stopped at Ross, and I was amazed that they still had some of these left. Um, and I finally picked one up. It's basically this uh, mirror tray with the jewels on the side. And this was $9.99. And basically, I want to put this on the buffet table or maybe on the coffee table. Um, I know people usually use this as their perfume trays or basically, you can use this for whatever you'd like. But what I want to do with this is maybe I want to put a bottle of wine and some wine goblets on top of this just to make them stand out and look a lot more refined and elegant just for the holiday season. So I just thought that was a nice idea. So at Home Goods, I picked up these two beautiful wine goblets. Um, and basically they are just trimmed in silver and they have some rhinestones right here at the tip of the um, handle. And I just saw these were gorgeous. They were $4.99 each. So I grabbed two of them from my dinner table. Um, so when we have our holiday meals, we can enjoy a nice little glass of wine in these beautiful little goblets. Also from Home Goods, I picked up this other design, and these are also goblets that I think you can also use as little uh, tea light candle holders. Um, I have heard people um, put tea lights in here and use it as part of like a little base, as part of their decor. But anyways, I bought this for 
um, our dinner table so that we can be able to enjoy a nice little glass of wine with our meal or our appetizers. I just thought this was really nice. Um, so far, I haven't had any decorative goblets. I only have the plain clear ones and of course that gets boring after a while so I picked these up and these were also only $4.99 each so I grabbed two of them. Um, so yeah they just have a nice little damask design and they're just frosted in silver and I just thought these were perfect for me to change out um, according to the occasion and yeah. <coughs> So from Ross, I picked up this nice little silver tray, and it's a nice size. I got this for $7.99, and I plan to use this on top of my buffet table, if not my dinner table. So I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put it and what I'm going to put inside of it, but I just felt like this would be a nice way to have um, some of the things I have on there organized instead of being just kind of scattered all over the place. I will put them in here and put some nice little, nice little items in here and see how that looks. <laughs> So from Home Goods, I found this beautiful big pillow that says, baby, it's cold outside. And I just thought it was so adorable. It has a nice little furry trimming and it's in the perfect color. It's in this nice little champagne and silver. And the words are actually, I don't know if that's a, it's embroidery or what, but it's like in the sweater material. And it has nice little silver snowflakes. So I thought it was perfect. I got this for $24.99. Now, I usually don't buy pillows that cost this much, but I figure this is an investment for the season because this is quite a statement piece. So I just loved how it looks. Um, the added fur just gives it that nice snow-filled effect. So I grabbed it and this is for my couch. So I thought this was a really cute idea for the living room and yeah. So I stopped at the Dollar Tree and I picked up some snowflake ornaments and I just got the white ones. I got about eight of these and I figured this was a really good deal because they really do pop. They have a nice little, um, it looks like rhinestones but they're not. Um, but they really do pop and they go perfect with the Winter Wonderland theme. So I grabbed eight of these from the Dollar Tree. So at Walmart, I found this two-pack pillows, and they're basically just smaller type pillows that are in gold and silver, and one of them says joy, and the other one says peace. Now this one I plan to incorporate in my living room, um, right around the other big pillow that I got from Home Goods, and this was only $9.99, so that makes it $5 a pillow, so that was a great deal from Walmart. So finally from Walmart, I grabbed some of these poinsettia leaves and these are just in the silver sparkle and I grabbed about six of these and I also grabbed some in the white iridescent um, color and I just plan to use these on the tree uh, just to give the tree more of a winter wonderland effect with the white and silver. And these were 98 cents at Walmart. So before I end my video, I wanted to share this little DIY that I've been working on. Now this is the glitter base that I showed, um, that I was talking about, that I made a video for. And what I did is I grabbed some branches from outside, I spray painted them white. Um, I also ordered some jewels um, that are kind of like in a garland and also this little pop of blue I mentioned this in my first Christmas decor haul video and I just put it all together here and this is basically just a winter tree vase and I just thought this was so cute So if anyone is interested in knowing how I put this together, just let me know in the comments below and I will be glad to do a DIY video for you guys. I'm also going to be adding some LED lights to these. Um, in my first Christmas uh, video, I did mention, so I'm going to be adding that to these branches just to kind of illuminate the centerpiece. And this is most likely, this is going in the middle of my buffet table. But yeah, this is basically how it looks. The branches are from outside. You just have to spray paint them white. 
the vase you get I got from the dollar store for not for a dollar um, the ornament I just stuck on there the glitter that I added I have the video posted below on how I did that and then I just added the little pops of color which you don't have to do but being that I'm doing blue and white I just kind of added that so that it can tie in the whole theme and you know you just add the jewels if you like and I also have the other hanging jewels, um, the thicker ones that I mentioned in my first Christmas decor haul that I'm most likely going to be adding to this one. So this is basically not really ready yet. I just put it together to see how it would look and I actually love how it looks. I'm going to organize it a little bit better, add the lights and add the other jewels and then I will be um, putting that on my buffet table. So stay tuned for my Christmas holiday living room and dining room tour you'll be seeing all of this stuff so thank you guys for tuning in today i appreciate all your support if you haven't subscribed please do so by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and recommend it to a friend and i can't wait to see you in the next video and so until then stay warm enjoy the holidays and i will see you all very soon bye